So every man in America has a right to choose their profession to a point. Every man in America has a right to serve their families without a joint. Every man in America should know where his filthy hands belong and do not go. But every woman in America also knows that she can play a game on someone's life. Now isn't that what we train our little girls to do? Isn't that what we train our boys to do? That I'm literally asleep here on the sidewalk taking a nap and a rest because I have to after being immorally trained by a Muslim in jail. But when I tell you this truth and this truth of this story, you either don't care or you don't believe me. And this much is true, God always sees what you do. And this much is not your wisdom, it's your foolishness. The foolishness of you is thinking you have the right to take private information and sell it publicly, and the sickness of America is visibly seen in the stupidest of women who work in the retail scene. And when I say this, I guarantee they'll hear this. And if they don't hear this, I guarantee you that the people who are like the panhandlers of women will actually walk into a situation and sell it. The liar of America put her hands in a man's pockets. The liar of, a man, of America put her hands on a man's face and cut his beard. The liar of America put his hands into a man's bags. And a liar of America put things on his property that were not there as if it's a tag. The immoralness of a man who can walk and still has a chair is a problem in America today. If I am him, I am him. If I am not, I am not. But because you fail to speak to me, but you give your lot with Satan, that is on you.